A very good morning, Kampala, Uganda, Africa, and the whole world. We are finally here on a beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. And uh, we are having, I would say, an amazing discussion today. Uh, just to give you the detail, it is the Pearl of Africa Star Search. And this is, uh, of course, uh, an amazing topic that we'll be discussing, known as the synergies between music, entertainment, and tourism. My name is Kela McKenzie from Talent Africa Group and uh, at Tag Studios is where we're actually having this at One Hill Drive, Kololo. Now, wherever you are, feel free to actually do get in touch with us online and uh, you can send in a message, you can uh, send in whatever queries you have as we have the discussion going on. But before we go too far, I have to introduce to you my superstar guests. All of them are superstars, just so you know. And uh, I'm going to start with a guy who I believe, well, he has traversed the entire continent and also gone beyond. He goes by the name of Mr. Navio. Please introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Navio, Navio Lubuama, representing Rubaga, Kampala, most definitely. Um, and yeah, hip hop till death. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you better recognize. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, right next to me is another rapper. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very, very important person right next to me, and uh, I would love you to introduce yourself as uh, much as you can in detail. <laughs> hey, good morning to you as well. Uh, I, I will skip the rap. <laughs> yes, Viviana, my name is, I work with the Ministry of Tourism, and I'm so glad to be with you today. Nice, there yeah. you go. Uh, on my left, uh, without much introduction. Uh, she goes by the name of Fabiola, but uh, there's a lot more that you've been doing that now we need yeah. to know what are other titles that have come up Listen. and everything. Please introduce yourself. First of all, thank you for having me. Girl power. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to say it's that. Much, you know? eh? <laughs> yeah, but thank you for having me. Mm. Um, I'm honored, honestly, to be on this panel because there's so much knowledge here, there's so much experience, there's so much to learn from this place nice. on top of you know um contributing my one or two pieces um a celebrity influencer entrepreneur launching something really soon and i believe i'm here as an ambassador of tourism nice so one of the things i believe in is constantly reinventing yourself mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i guess that's why that's the main reason i'm here yeah but thank you for having me Anita Fabiola. And uh, right on my far left is uh, currently the Artist of the Year, uh, courtesy Ooh. of the Zina Awards. Uh, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, yes, uh, it's Palazzo, your boy, Saka Free Boss. King of the East, your mother's favorite son in law. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> there you yes, go. Yes, we're here at the Talent <laughs> Africa Studios, and yeah. I'm very happy to be involved with, with everybody else. Nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, I'm very sure you have seen something called Pearl of Africa Star. You could call it POA, you could call it PAW, in whichever way it is. It is designed in a way to search, develop, and promote fresh music talent around the country, here in Uganda, but mostly to also highlight that talent as a way that we can shine the light on Ugandan tourism. Number one, for international uh, market, but also for domestic tourism. We believe that it is high time that we take charge of what we promote as Ugandans. And we should be able to have literally every single uh, capacity as Ugandans promote our own country. And so the Pearl of Africa Star Search that began just recently, and uh, it has been going on with submissions as of now until the 9th of May, it has been the most exhilarating experience so far, seeing how many people coming through, thousands of people actually, coming in to say, I want to represent my country. So it's very important that we actually have, I would call them workshops or studies to understand what it takes to actually promote your country. Or what are the challenges that you will be facing or other people face today? So today on the panel, we have, I would call the perfect panel that gives you detail from all the different sectors. Mr. Liazi, I will begin with you uh, real quick because from the Ministry of Tourism, for very many years personally, I went to Macquarie University to study tourism. And when, when I was there, we were told, man, this is a very useless uh, course, eh? You're wasting your time. Who did that? This, this was actually from family, yes. from friends. Mm. And this is, uh, okay, it's long ago, eh? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> Times have changed. <laughs> Times have now changed. Because yes. I'm so excited to see that right. you are fully involved in marketing tourism, but with a lot of help from the music 
industry. Right. I would love to know, number one, what is the history of that? Maybe from your own involvement into it, but what is the history of that and how has it gotten to this level where we are today? Thank you. I, I think uh, you, you, you need to look at tourism uh, from the angle of um, this is a travel economy. We want as many people to come to the country yes. as possible and enjoy themselves. And along the way, of course, they, 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 they spend a bit of money mm -hmm. in accommodation, in food and drink and so on and so forth. Yes. So what are the primary drivers that really bring people mm -hmm. to this country? Mm -hmm. uh, historically, we've been looked at as uh, a wildlife destination. Yeah. You know, people come to see the gorillas, people come to hike the mountains, uh, go for safari. That is how we know. Yeah. But we are much more than that. Yeah. Uganda is known to have the most friendly people. Yeah. And it has a multitude of talent. Uh, and a lot of talent has broken through the ranks, um, gone uh, beyond Africa and uh, conquered the world, uh, so to speak. Uh, I will use an example that is not within us, but you, 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 you remember uh, quite, quite, quite Kenzo has, uh, has, has, has oh, yeah. he's, he's done really well uh, all over. And um, that becomes a point of reference. Where do you come from? Uganda. Mm -hmm. Where does that music come from? Uganda. And uh, it's a catch. Why not promote the country uh, using its ve very best assets? We are said to have the most friendly people. Mm -hmm. We are said to have multitudes of talent. Mm -hmm. Why don't we promote the country using this very talent? Nice. I want to build on to that by, remo uh, by, by just giving an example that uh, whenever we hear the music of Philip Bolongole Lutaya, we take him back to the Christmas mood, isn't it? Yes. So music has a way of transporting you back to that place, mm -hmm. that very beautiful place mm -hmm. uh, that, that uh, you, you, you had that music from mm -hmm. for the very first time. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great opportunity to use music to sell a destination. Amazing. And it has successfully been used by very many uh, destinations all over the world. Okay. It's a strategy we intend to, uh, to keep going to with. Keep going with. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Navio, you have, mm -hmm. I mean, you have traveled everywhere. When it comes to people who have been able to promote, you know, yourself and say, I am Navio and I'm from Uganda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we saw you working with some of the biggest acts in the world, uh, from the R. Kelly's of the world and from all these different people that you've been in touch with. Yeah. I would imagine that the amount of knowledge that you have actually been able to capture from all this time is very important. What do you think has been that thing that has maybe taken us longer mm -hmm. to capture? What do you think we have not been aware of? Mm -hmm. Or is it from the side that the musicians have not been as informed as you? Mm -hmm. Or is it that the, let's say the music, in, uh, the tourism industry itself has not been seeing people in your light? What do you think uh, the issue has been there? Um, I think it's, it's uh, there's a few issues that have happened, um, but we're remedying them right now. The first of which would be, um, the impression that we have of the outside world and us being able to compete there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we see uh, uh, Rick Ross, uh, Jay-Z, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, um, all of these artists, when we see actors, when we see uh, models, when we see um, any, any people who are in the public eye for whatever they do, politicians, whatever, we feel like uh, somehow we cannot compete on that level. But the one thing I realized is going out there, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best and working with some of the best and being in the studios with some of the best um, and just expressing myself as a Ugandan kid from Rubaga, I had a voice. So that's the first thing that we needed to realize as Ugandans is we have our own unique voice. Rosé can't do in Jogereza, mm -hmm. but I can do what he can do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, in the same way, I feel like um, as, as the more that we realize that we are on the same playing field and the same level as other people, then we should be taking our talent out there and we should be competing on, 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 a, on a wider scale. Um, the other problem would just be, <clears throat> of course, the mechanics of the industry. They weren't set up when I started. And now we have a framework, you know, which we can work with. Now we have interested parties like the Ministry of Tourism, you know, is, is, is realizing that this is one of the biggest tools. And so we've been singing about it, we've been talking about it, uh, but now there's that realization of it, and they're realizing it earlier than a lot of countries in the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that yeah. just speaks volumes, and big up to you guys for that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think we're going to see the Uganda benefit. We're going to see the artist benefit. We're going to see different ministries benefit. Um, and and yeah, those two those two things are now being remedied. Like I said, um, so it's it's just a matter of time now.
There you yeah. go. I agree. Um, yeah. I hear you very, very agreeable about this. You're like, that's the way to go, right? <laughs> yes. um, mm. Fabiola, you have, you have promoted Uganda. You've actually really gone out there and promoted yeah. Uganda. And you've done it virtually o- on top of that as well. And also been able to travel beyond Uganda. What has been to you, what has been that thing that maybe feels like you feel like you're struggling, you know, when it comes to promoting? What's that? What has been that block that you've had? Or what has been on, on top of that? What has been the energy that I say, no, I'm going to keep pushing? What has tried to stop you? I would love to know. Yeah. Um, right now, things are really getting better. But before, when let's say the digital platforms were new, Instagram, because I think I was one of the first people on Instagram. I like to think so. Right? I think I was like your yeah. third follower. Right. Yeah. I, th- I think so. So when we Nabi had... was the second. When we... <laughs> Guilty. Really? Guilty. Guilty as charged. Yes. So when these platforms were just new. Yes, yes. And you're on Instagram. Instagram is just about content. Post pictures of yourself. If you have, if you have a restaurant, post pictures of your food. My brand is myself. So I'm going to post myself. So in the beginning, when you post pictures of yourself, you're somewhere at a nice hotel in Uganda, you are at a, um, a safari lodge in Uganda, people did not look at it as, where is she? Where is that place? They're looking at it as, this girl, she's spoiled. Mm. Why is she wearing tight clothes? Who's Why is sponsoring she, her? Who's sponsoring? Who is she sleeping with? Things like that. But then now there's a new wave. Things have changed. For me to be hired to promote a hotel, I have a vast audience who just wants to see me leaving the life in the place for them to come. So I will not just get a a phone and take a picture of the food, take a picture of the view. They actually have to see me in the frame Mm -hmm. for them to actually come and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So I will say that in the beginning it was a little bit challenging, but I really love that now people do understand the importance of content and they understand that we are in an era of influencer marketing. Yeah. There is no way you're going to promote a place by using traditional media alone. Mm-hmm. And I mean that print, I mean TV, I mean radio, it doesn't work anymore. Mm-hmm. If you're going to use that, then use someone that they follow. Use someone that influences them to go there. Mm-hmm. You're no longer just going to run an ad in a place, of a place, or we have these services, but who has gone there? Who do I know that has gone there? Who's aspirational enough Mm -hmm. to make me go there? So I love the shift in the wave and I love how we are moving, but I also believe that we have a very long way to go. And that will definitely start with a ministry of tourism. Mm -hmm. And I think we're in the right wavelength, but also them realizing that, hey, this is influencer marketing era. So we need to pay them more respect, pay them enough because they have the numbers. You want the numbers, we have the numbers. So that's very, very important to address as well. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of promoting Uganda outside of Uganda, goes down to the same thing, baseline info, content. Mm -hmm. Content is king. Mm -hmm. And when an era with no content, it's literally like you don't exist on this planet. That's true. If you've gone somewhere and you don't have memories to show for it, it's out. Yeah. And then another thing, I've had um, certain, um, certain opportunities come to me, not because I'm really talented, and I know that at the back of my mind. I know that it's because I actually put in effort to position myself in a way that people look up to me or want to do the things that I do, want to wear what I wear, um, want to have my kind of style, my kind of makeup, and it's because I've identified my brand. It's about beauty, it's about lifestyle. So me positioning myself like that to bring the numbers. Yeah. So if we can get more people coming on board to realize their uniqueness, like Navi was saying, we have everything and we just need to realize that. You know, we don't need um, their content, their content, we are enough. So as a Ugandan, if we can get more Ugandans knowing that, hey, this is what makes me stand out, this is my unique voice, this is my unique style, and my fans or my followers can identify me through this. Yeah. Then we'll have more and more people coming up using their platforms because you must use your platform. True, true. We no longer need a TV mm-hmm. to give us a voice. Or I mean, look where platform. we are now. Yeah. Yeah. We, just, we all <laughs> just need our own individual platforms nice. to promote nice. whatever is can going I, on. Yeah. Please. Can I also say that yeah. in the same way she said content is king, content is queen. 
Yeah. Sure. Yes, the, please. Uh, the uh, ladies. Uh, the ladies. Such a thing is a woman, though. Yeah. yeah. The, the ladies. The ladies are yeah. huge driving. The ladies are a huge driving force in, yes, uh, for this whole thing we're yes. talking about right now. True. Oh, yes. Mr. Mayanja, obviously there is no question about talent uh, when it comes to your family and yourself you. as, a, as, a, as a soccer free boss. Um, yeah. Your history is very interesting. Seeing the background that you've come from, from having a diaspora career, literally, that we saw and we loved, um, to transitioning to becoming a home best artist in Uganda, oh, and yeah. also having the ups and downs that you've had. Nabio said that we have had to understand ourselves for us to be seen yeah. as what we want to be seen. Right. What do you, th how have you gone through those uh, different steps? What do you think has helped you or what have you, what could you teach that comes from your own career to say that this is who I am and this hour should be sold for you to be in this position that you're in right now? Uh, well, it's been an interesting journey, just like you said, but also living in America, I grew up around the hip hop culture that, you know, before I left Uganda, I was the biggest hip-hop hater. I didn't love hip-hop. <laughs> I could see the clear cast, the navios, and I'm like, what are these guys doing? <laughs> but when, when I went in... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, I finally understood what you <laughs> But when I went to America, oh, yeah. I was forced to live around the culture. Mm -hmm. And I understood the culture, inside and outside of the culture the depth of the lyrics, everything was so inspirational. And But one thing I learned is no matter how much I tried to be them, there was always a reminder you are not us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like something always popped out that reminded me you're not one of us. I could remember even growing up there, my childhood best friends telling me, go back to your country, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, also, Y'all know my story, I got locked up in America, but being a prisoner in another person's country made me fall in love with my country. Mm -hmm. So at some point I just made a decision, I was like, I'm going back home, mm -hmm. and I want to love my country, that is who I am, that is, and I had to accept it. So coming back home, another challenge I realized, one of the things we've been able to work on is, people here are so worried about urbanization, versus development. Yeah. People here believe for something to be to be in its best shape, it has to be urbanized. Yeah, yeah. But we can develop our own things without urbanizing them. Mm -hmm. We can have development without urbanization. Mm -hmm. Like I noticed, Kadongo Kamu genre is dead. Yeah. yeah I, I could ask you a Kadongo Kamu hit right now and you don't know, but this is sound we haven't even been able to sell anywhere. And this is original sound. No sound, 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 sound like that sound yeah. in the whole world. Yeah. People are breaking through the whole entire world with their original, original sounds. Sound. And we, we here, I don't know where that came from, but I noticed people are being taught not to believe in who they are. We've been broken down so much that people can't even express themselves properly. People don't even want to use their African names. They're not proud of it. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to be identified with their cultures. So that was a big challenge. As you notice, I'm a person that even Navio said, I can rap. Mm -hmm. I can rap in English, I can rap in Luganda, I can sing, I can do dancehall. But if you listen to my music, it's very deeply inspired by pure Ugandan music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a challenge I face because I came back with a different culture and I had to learn how this is done again. Mm -hmm. So I made yeah, so many yeah. mistakes and it took me a long way to get to where I am. Yeah. But yes, it has been challenging to convince people to listen to music that sounds like music from home and believe it's great music. It has taken me seven years and finally we're getting there. And yeah. that's why I'm so happy with this whole entire project because yeah. Yeah. it's focusing on the ground root of our culture. They wanna go to Masindi, they wanna go to Kapeka, they wanna go to Mbara, they wanna go in every region and dig out that Ugandan gold to the world and use it to sell Uganda and I'm proud of it. Mr. Lianzi, no this is it's a hand no clap for sense. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. You know, in we your, have quite a number of ambassadors now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are good. Yes. Um, Talent Africa Group uh, got in touch. We started working and creating Nyege Nyege and having that as one of. I think oh. to me, it's like. It's, I can't wait for you know, it if you go to Ginger, wait. If, yes. if you go to Ginger in that week, <laughs> it's, it's like cool, uh, right? it's. You can't even find a local home to say, can I sleep in your kitchen? Because yeah. all, you know, all, all accommodation is taken. Mm. What 
do you think such festivals, uh, having people like Jidenna coming in the country, having the likes of Akon coming in the country, and them coming and getting excited to promote our country? And a hundred nationalities. You know, so. like, they're like, yo, we need to, you know, we need to be a part of this. Yeah. Did that have an effect on um, your choice in saying promotion maybe needs to take this direction? Do you think those <laughs> things have had an effect? in promoting Ugandan tourism itself? Definitely, definitely. Um, of course, it's an evolution. Uh, we've been testing quite a number of other strategies to see how best uh, we can position. Palasso put it very well, that however much you, 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 you pretend or, or, or perfect mm. what the others do, mm. um, you, you're not really fully accepted because you're not part of them. Mm -hmm. you, you, what you are, your, your local uh, you know, flair is what really sells. Yeah. Uh, and and, and you, I think when, when when you moved a little bit into the Yogereza, mm -hmm. it, it really hit out. Things. Yes, it, did, <laughs> it, did, it, did. it did. It clicked. Yeah. 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 Every because, time I've done it, you imagine. Yeah. Career. Every time, uh, because you know you brought in the local flair, and it differentiated you from all the rest. Yeah. And uh, and I think that is what really clicks the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we sell wildlife. And wildlife is uh, one of the greatest assets that this country has. Yeah. But so does Kenya have it. Uh, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, name it. Yeah. So the elephant is the same, yeah, wherever you see it from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, if somebody comes up and does the Chiganda dance very well, or the Chichiga dance very well, that, that's unique. That is Uganda, yeah. fully. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it gives you a unique you know, selling uh, proposition mm -hmm. uh, that not anywhere else you you you, you will be able to do that. Right. So that, um, from a selling point of view, is a very strong and powerful selling proposition that we need to put across. Now, coming on to the issue of festivals, mm -hmm. festivals have the power of pulling so many people. You know, for the power of music, and uh, we've all appreciated the power of music. Yeah, uh, it's uh, power of. Uh, or persuading you or, or levitating you into some kind of uh, new life or feeling. Yeah. It gives you a feeling, yes. so to speak. Yes. Uh, a positive feeling that everybody gravitates to. Mm -hmm. And uh, festivals have been, you know, a very powerful tool in bringing as much talent as possible mm -hmm. and in effect attracting as many people as possible. You rightly said yeah. the Nyege Nyege festival, you would hardly find yeah. uh, where to to, to, to rest mm -hmm. uh, in Jinja during the Nyege Nyege Festival. And we, we've been going in that direction. Quite a number of uh, big shows have, uh, have come up. And uh, neighbors from Kenya uh, and from far away mm -hmm. ha have been coming to, to be part of this celebration. Nice. I think uh, it's a way again to go mm -hmm. uh, to promote uh, these festivals. There used to be issues of uh, uh, morality, for instance, moral concerns, mm -hmm. but these have been addressed. Mm -hmm. You know, security has been ensured, uh, moral concerns have been addressed. People are really there primarily to enjoy themselves. Yeah. So if there are a few negatives, we'll resolve them. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically we maintain. We pile uh, the good. Yeah, we pile mm -hmm. the good. There you go. Uh, yes. I, have, I have a question for Navio and um, Fabiola, and this one is towards promotion. Because like when you yeah. see a product like Nyege Nyege, it's not a mistake, it's a big thing. It's carefully designed. They take years to actually come up with these things mm -hmm. so that when it's out there, it's something that can be consistent, it can keep going. The two of you have probably been the most consistent in that field when it comes to promoting your brand mm -hmm. as a person. As you can see, Navcop is <laughs> it's literally everywhere that you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in um, your face, I love it. Do you yes. think we have a problem in that field when it comes to musicians? And do you think it has a, role, a huge role to play <clears throat> With, for example, the Ministry of Tourism saying, mm, you know, it's a bit hard to, pre to place my brand in, in that space when it's shaky. Because it is important that if I'm trying to promote Uganda, I'm trying to promote it with the right light. So if the billboards, which are the musicians, the influencers, are not necessarily up there that everyone can see, it becomes a bit difficult. Do you believe in that? And what do you think can be done to change that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, longevity is key with anything that you're doing. You know, so um, I think about right now the fact that it's been 
21 years since I released the first song with Clear Cut. Really? You know, wow. Um, wow. Wow. And I Thanks think, guys, yeah. Wow. wow. Thank you. Consistent. <laughs> I hadn't yeah. thought about my son at that time. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Consistent. Yeah. Wow. Um, and it, it gets worse, you know, if you, if you fast forward to when I was 10 years old, that's like 10 years before that, you know, is, is literally, well, not quite 10 years before that, mm -hmm. but um, this is the first time I'm a 10 year old in studio with Steve Jean you know, uh, when he is now coming up to what he's become, you know. Um, it's funny to see some of the people that stick with the industry and stay on top of the industry. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who flare up and, you know, there'll be amazing acts for one, two years, um, and then that'll be it. You yeah. know, I never see them again, Yeah. you know. Um, and then the other acts, like you see, Palazzo, he's come up seven years, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Coming in and out, finding his voice, you know, uh, that sort of, gives you that longevity. Mm -hmm. And I think just being true to yourself, like, you know, when people see this insignia, this logo, they know that it's yeah. business. You know, they, they know that I'm, in here. Yeah, they know exactly what to expect. You know, when they see this logo on stage and at shows and, you know, um, when they see us, you know, they, they know what to expect because they know what my brand is about. I don't try and stretch too much. I don't try and please too many people. I am myself. So like you said, it's very important to, at the end of the day, be yourself. So. You know, I'm a guy who, yeah, I was raised in a, a few places, but being yourself, that thread is really what's, it's what's kept me unique and original. Um, and even when I was doing the songs, you know, like an Njogi Reza, and then flipping back to Bugumo and Ngalo, which is like more hip hop, Ngalo, Bugumo, the titles yeah. are still from home. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, I, 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 I in the same way, are showing the Americans, you're not like me. Right on. It's not me, it's not them showing us that, I, you know, oh yeah, you're not one of us. I'm like, no, you're not one of us. <laughs> yeah. You know, we have something to you're offer and whatnot. Space. Yeah. And that is part of the space that people come to for Nyege Nyege. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. is no party. You know, every country says it, mm -hmm. but there is no party like a Ugandan party. Yeah, yeah. There was a space that for part, every level. Yeah. There's oh, a, sp yes. you know, every, you can enjoy yourself on every level. Yeah. Whether you're in the VIP, sometimes me and Paraso <laughs> and Anita will look from the, the VIP and we'll look <laughs> the other side and we'll be like, <laughs> But I'm missing the other guys. Yeah, like that mouth. guy who sits next to like, the mm -hmm. toilet entrance, mm -hmm. there, that's their Things VIP. are happening. Mm -hmm. like, that's it. You're like, man, that's free. That that's corner, where the that's energy right. is. Uh -huh. You're like, yeah. that's free corner. Are you know what? Yeah. Yeah. So, Nyege has every sort of level. And, you know, Uganda in general okay. is, is, is on another level, you know, as far as I'm concerned. And people need to see it. Mm -hmm. You can, I, I literally met people from 40 different countries. Yeah at an event like that. Oh, yeah. So you can imagine that sort of thing happening more and more is, 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 is going to be a great influencer for us. It is. I mean, uh, Fabiola, you have been in positions that some people dream of. You know, I've seen you at NBA basketball courts sitting in the front mm -hmm. row. Sure. That is, yeah, we uh, need to talk about that. Like, we need to have well, a conversation about... You know why we, could, can't, we can't talk could about Could they just it? wear, like, a, a Ugandan flag just, like, mm. yes, around your neck? See, she could so have. Like, yeah, she could have. Sure, like, she she wear wear you, <laughs> Mr. Niazi. No, next time we're giving her a shirt. Uh -huh. But you see, the thing yeah. is that people would look at that and they'd be like, ha, who took her there? Or yeah. ha, you know, she... always do. And, and for some reason, I think there's also a level of which there are some people who have actually showcased that. And so you end up taking the heat, but it's other people who are showcasing mm -hmm. that world. How yeah. are you able to detach yourself from that? How are you able to yeah. separate your brand from what you'd call clutter yeah. to being yours that you yeah, can I be see. on a panel of this nature and you actually have a great, great role? Yeah. Um, just what Navia said, what Palazzo said, just consistently doing me. Everything else that they say can easily knock you off, yes. but that's really none of your business. Because yes. you can't control that. Mm -hmm. If I sit down here, there will definitely be someone saying something out there. Yeah. Am I going to knock at everyone's door and tell them, hey, that's, it's not what you're thinking, it's yeah. just like this. Yeah. But the only way I'm able to just position myself differently and constantly um, elevate myself and my brand yeah. is by consistently doing my work, consistently standing for what I believe in, consistently elevating, yes. you know, just yes. um, searching for new areas to explore. Mm -hmm. And that's really who I am, searching mm -hmm. for new areas to explore, searching for new, new work and how I can really elevate myself, my skills, my brand, and just me in general. Yeah. And I wanted to also touch base on to complement what Navio said about um, the consistency of a brand and how he's taken 21 years and here he is right now 
still rising up. Yeah. And also Palazzo and also what he said and relate that with uh, the Ministry of Tourism and how they can get people to work with, get influencers, get stars, artists, and everyone who's having a voice or a platform. Mm -hmm. How do they know who to work with? Mm -hmm. The second part of your question. Yeah. That is hard. But like Navia said, you won't know until you keep going because if they try one or two, three, four artists, and then they fail, they're like, mm, we're not working with artists anymore, they're hard to deal with, whatever they say about artists. Yes. And then they stop right there with the marketing. Yeah. Then it dies, yeah. because you need, you constantly need to push. Talent Africa is really good at marketing. Mm -hmm. Constantly, it does not matter, because marketing doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. If one person sees your product, and you leave it at that, that's, that's okay. I'll see it once and I'll move on, but if it's constantly in my face, mm -hmm. You know what, the next time I'm thinking of going somewhere, I'll be like, how about that place that I've been seeing everyone going to? Yeah. Let me go there. <laughs> yeah. You know, so if one influencer disappoints you, move on. It's their loss. Yeah. Eventually, they'll snap out of it, you know. And um, for artists and influencers just starting this thing and then it's hard along the way and they quit, that's also their problem. It's not the problem of the ministry or anyone who's interested in seeing Uganda as a nation. Yeah grow and exporting our experiences because entertainment music that's part of experience tourism true you know you true. travel for different things yeah ecotourism to see the wildlife i travel for the experience yeah. and music is a huge part of that so i just say we should just keep on going mm -hmm. just it doesn't matter yeah palazzo is here navio is here keep going. Actually, more I, I, wa I want yeah. you to just uh, elaborate more on the consistency that you've had right now because obviously yeah. for you you have been you've explained that you've shifted different goals right. to get to a level but even in as you're shifting you still need to be consistent with that energy right. yep. uh, if you could just add a bit on that and also with your promotion and how you've been able to uh, not let go of your brand as Palazzo uh, in the different shifts that you've had so uh, actually before I answer that I want to add a bit of words on what my brother Navio just said and what yes. Anita just said about yep consistency and what Anita said about us influencing these things, how people relate to these things. What I think is if I'm seated here and we're going out and I say, Navi, let's use this door, he'll come with me. Or if he said, let's use this door, I'll come with him. Why? Because he's a person I can trust mm -hmm. and we know each other. Mm -hmm. So I will follow what he tells me. I think it's good. Oh, I want to try it. Yeah. So uh, if Chameleon was a preacher, I would have been a preacher. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, one, mis one, one little slight mistake I see being done here is we're in an era of social media where we have very big influencers, where we are, I would say artists are more important than billboards because people don't relate to billboards, no but money. people relate with to the me. musician. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, could say, I could say tomorrow you can find me at Sheraton. I want about 2,000 people and everybody and has to pay 20,000 shillings there. and they'll come. But a billboard cannot do that unless they can really relate because they come for different reasons. So what I notice here is there is a whole lot of variety of cultures and stuff to tour around Uganda that even Ugandans are not aware of. Yeah. See, like if you ask me how many animals we have in, in Uganda exclusively, I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. But if we work more together and we... we, 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 we we, we work with you guys, instead of using billboards, use your influencers, mm -hmm. instead of using foreign mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. um, use your you music. music. Yeah. Um, you know, we go to those places, take pictures. Uh, I mean, no, no, let's work together. We are brands yeah. that will create job creation, that will, and that will open up a lot of people's eyes about what's in the country and just like Navia said, we'd be in the VIP and we're watching the party over there. Now we want to go over there. Nice. So what we, charity begins at home. Once we start our own party here, mm -hmm. everybody else is going to want to come to, yeah. to our party. See yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So we need to start the party here. We need to work with the influencers. We need to um, teach people about what they have in their own countries. We need to use our music and we can do that. And uh, the second question, yeah. Actually, I'll relate to Anita. Uh, I, I was struggling to find to, uh, so many things I wouldn't understand. 
how, how do they attack this Afrobeat? Uh, what what the baseline gotta sound like? How do I promote? How do I do this? And Anita was one of the people my girlfriend reached out to. Mm. And Anita gave her time and she told her, look, you have to look for people like this. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to, because of her experience. And that's how we learned the new promo game, actually. Yeah, it all yeah. started with Anita, with yeah. uh, my sister Bridget that lives over here. She, she gave us a whole lengthy m meeting. Uh, deep down in the night and we discussed how we were to promote the music, who we were to work with, and once we figured all that out, it started working for yeah, me. Yeah. And that's just how it worked. Collaboration is important. Oh, yes. yes, it is. And speaking about that, the Pearl of Africa Star Search is in partnership with Uganda Talent Managers Association. We got in touch with uh, an amazing guy, uh, goes by the name of Emma Carlos. Emma Carlos wanted to highlight a bit more on uh, promoting Ugandan music promoting Ugandan tourism using entertainment online and finding a way that that can actually happen. Uh, just last year, we had actually, uh, in partnership with uh, the Ministry of Tourism, a project called Take On The Pal. And this particular project worked with as many influencer musicians uh, that we took around uh, the, different country, the different country spots that have tourism destinations. One of the things that was very amazing is that some people, including myself, had not been um, deep into like Lake Mburu mm -hmm. to like know that oh, there's yeah. one lion only there remaining. <laughs> we did not know that. Yes. And so looking for that lion, once you get it, it becomes crazy. But guess who That's actually had ended up showcasing that to the whole world? Yeah. It was Cindy. Yeah. So Cindy is the king, yeah. and she's like, there's a king lions. there. You need to go and find <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, yeah, the synergy is definitely great. But mm -hmm. let's get into the short break. Uh, we're going to be uh, having a chat from Emma, and then when we come back, we'll be talking about the Pearl of Africa Star Search a bit in detail and what you need to do to be a part of it. We'll be right back. You could be a star wherever you Hello, Uganda. My name is Emmanuel Mlondo, popularly known as Emma Carlos in the creative industry. I'm the current president of Uganda Talent Managers Association, an organization that brings together all talent managers in Uganda. Ibutama is also a member of the National Culture Forum, NCF. Apparently, right now, NCF is the apex body for all associations in the culture and creative industry of Uganda. Now, I've been given an opportunity to speak on the theme today. How do we promote Uganda tourism using entertainment online? If you look at the theme, there are a couple of components within the theme. Let's look at Uganda. Uganda is a country. Uganda is a product, Uganda is a part of Africa. Let's look at uh, tourism. Tourism is a service. Tourism as a service contributes to the GDP of Uganda. Uh, aspect number three in the theme is uh, entertainment. How do you use entertainment? How will you use, entertainment comes in a couple of forms. It can be film, it can be dance, it can be poetry, it can be comedy, it can be music. It comes in a couple of forms. How can we then use that to promote the other product we call Uganda through tourism online? When we talk about online, we talk about digital platforms, social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. These things have changed the way we perceive and disseminate information in terms of marketing. Fact number three. Having broken down the theme, let me diverge into how these four components in the theme can work together for us for our discussion, to get our discussion. We talked about Uganda, we talked about tourism, we talked about uh, entertainment, and we talked about online. Fact number one, content is the next goal. Why am I saying content is the next goal? Because we need content from the entertainers play it on uh, or upload it on uh, online to promote Uganda. Fact number two, we are going digital. All the billion eyes in the world are either on phone, on laptop, or a desktop viewing this kind of content. So how do we plug these three elements in the theme to market the country called Uganda? One, entertainment. We have entertainers. We have entertainers in forms of dancers, musicians, actresses, actors, social media influencers, uh, YouTubers. How then do we give these people 
or how then do we produce them or how then do we guide them or how then do we direct them to produce content tailor-made to market Uganda on these other big online platforms which are Twitter, social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, where billions of eyes, potential people, both locally and internationally, were outside there that want to come and visit Uganda. Remember, Uganda is the part of Africa. This is how it's going to be done. Content comes in a couple of forms. Content can come in pictures. Content can come in uh, short videos. Content can come in comical text. Content can come in infographics. So, how then do we get these entertainers to fit into this type of content, then upload it on social media, tailor-made to promote Uganda as the best tourist destination? Simple. It has already started. We're shifting from analog to digital. And thanks to COVID, if you look at how things, dynamics have changed in COVID, people have had so much engaged on promoting not only their products, but also the country on what? Government institutions, agencies, all people, all business entities have discovered the next biggest platform for you to promote your product or service is social media. I can give you an example. I've managed talent for the last 18 years. We never used to, I remember way back when we started, we used to use MySpace. Uh, even it was difficult to have an email at Gmail or at Yahoo. But these days, it's paramount for you to have a actually a fully dedicated team under your management to particularly manage digital platforms. This is where we are going. So, as I conclude on the theme, the theme is simple. How then can we market a product called Uganda through tourism, which contributes to the GDP of Uganda, using entertainment online? Simple. Have the category of entertainers across the board produce entertaining and action-led content that calls for action. You can use a comedian like Bujingo. There's a very nice skit, 30 seconds, keep on the board. It goes viral. Traditional media like newspapers used to brag around that they could had a circulation of 30,000 copies. You can have one video that goes viral and is viewed by millions of people. Imagine produced short infographic visual of 30 seconds going viral. Millions and millions of views. That's where we need to go. My name is Emmanuel Mrondo, also known as Emma Carlos. Thank you very much. Wow, my name is Fee Namgera Masanyaze. I work as the General Secretary of Ghana Musicians Association. I'm a musician by profession and I'm a dance maestra. Point of supplement. But then, before the point of supplement, I would like to thank the panel. Mackenzie, you've done great. We've seen everything. We love the content. I have a supplement on this. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Talent Africa for this initiative. It is really, really great. We've been looking for the way out on how musicians can intervene regarding promoting the tourism. And not even tourism, promoting everything to do with Uganda. You've seen it all. You're the first people to see it. You're the first people to observe it. That music can go faster. Uh, first and foremost, uh, regarding the challenges with musicians not promoting the, the, the tourism for Uganda, uh, the tourism board also has been walled apart with the musicians. So we've not been communicating, but I, I really appreciate the other, mo the other meeting at Miss Till. We really uh, came together and thought about the same thing. Uh, 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 with the help of the Talent Africa. At least when you tell me I need this, I will also think about it. But when you don't tell me, I'll also think about what I know. So Ugandan musicians right now have, uh, have felt the importance of promoting the tourism for Uganda. So we just need to be in touch so that everything goes on well. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we are still here at the Talent Africa Group Studios. It is One Hill Drive, Kololo. Now, you can actually call this as well, uh, literally the center where we have the headquarters of the Pal of Africa Star Search. We still have physical auditions going on today and tomorrow. Of course, we end on Sunday, which will be Mother's Day, but please do come through and make your submission work. Uh, let's give you a bit of a detail of what the Pal of Africa Star Search is looking like. So this began 
at the beginning of the month, uh, of the be at the beginning of last April. month uh, of April, and it is going until the 9th of May for submissions. Now, these submissions are basing on fresh music talent. If you believe that you have a voice that can actually sing, rap, or put something out there that is musical, please do use your voice and record that in one minute to two minutes, very heavily. This is also a chance for you to know that when you do this, you are doing this to enter into a competition which is supposed to be promoting Uganda as a tourism destination. Right here on my panel, I've got one of them who is a judge, uh, Mr. Navio Lubama mm -hmm. from Ruvaga. He will be accompanied by uh, the graceful Joanita Kawalia, as well as the king herself, uh, yes. Cindy Sanyo. Mm -hmm. We also have a judge from the world of tourism known as Bismarck. So this is going to be very, very amazing to illuminate, I think, what Ugandan tourism should be like, but also get that music superstar. Yes. Mr. Liazi. Right. Why did you guys choose to get in this? Oh, uh, we have talked about all the detail. Uh, why do you think this particular format, do you think it will, uh, when we use this style of looking for the stars to promote Uganda, why did you choose to get into this world from your end? You, you know, Uganda has uh, quite a number of gems, I yes. would say. Yes. Hidden attractions that have not been discovered. Mm -hmm. And of course, as we said, music is one of those great attractions uh, or experiences that uh, people need to come and look out for. Mm -hmm. uh, by moving around the country, and I can tell you from the few submissions I've sneaked into yeah. a little bit, <laughs> uh, I've come to believe that we're on the right track. Okay. You know, you've you get to hear somebody singing originally from uh, wherever they're coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's quite nice. Yeah. You, you want to have a little more of it. It's fresh. It's fresh. Sounds like could be bigger. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you, you hear a bit of the Kadodi inside, mm -hmm. you hear a bit of the Chizino inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you want to jump up and start dancing. True, true. Uh, we think we're on the right track in as far as the diversity, you know, mining out the diversity is concerned. Uh, we're moving all over the country yeah. uh, so that we get that fresh sound from Karamoja, we get that fresh sound from Kisoro, mm -hmm. uh, from Arua, yeah. uh, from Bali, and so, so many other places. Yes. And giving an opportunity to people who would otherwise not have had that opportunity. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's not very easy. Navio has had a bit of that luck. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend Palaso, you know, from. Yeah. Uh, from out there coming here you, you know it was easy to get into the music industry mm -hmm. but talk of a guy from arua uh deep down in the villages from moyo Nyamitanga, deep Nyamitanga, down probably mm. it's not that easy mm. and here you're going to have an opportunity of even being uh uh you, you know getting the mentorship from yes. some of the very best yes. in the game at the moment mm -hmm. and uh, we believe out of this process we will be able to get the fresh Ugandan talent that we can put across nice. mm -hmm. uh, to the world uh, and tell them this is Uganda. This is the Uganda you need to look to. I like that. What does this mean for the music industry in Uganda, Navio? Uh, I think it means the first real bridge between uh, what the country is doing in terms of like policy mm -hmm. merging with the actual industry. Mm -hmm. Because you have a lot of other countries which have benefited for years of having that bridge you know you'll see people uh not just uh, involved in campaigns and, and whatnot you you have a um you have uh, policies in place which actually help and aid artists to get further and grow the industry and and this is i think going to be a sneak peek into that but hopefully what happens in future is realizing the fact that we have you know a, a billion dollar industry already mm -hmm but the artists aren't able to push themselves even further than they've already gone. Mm -hmm. All the countries we've been to and all the times we've gone on tour, we could be getting a lot further, you know, if there were certain things that were put in place in order to help the artists. And this is, I think, one of those building blocks because we're going to have an artist at the end of it. And then we're going to have to tackle together as artists and as the government. What does it now take to break this artist here? What does it take to break this artist? out in the world, yeah. what are the doorways that this artist needs to be a worldwide star? Mm -hmm. Because that's what we should be trying to create. That me as a judge coming on this, mm -hmm. I was excited by that. Yeah. You know, having a star that I can put there and be like, this person represents me. This person, I have my, I put my full 
weight on their shoulders and you know I want them to represent me I think there are going to be a lot of doors and a lot of things that we can now open for all the artists because of this one stuff nice. and so that's what I'm looking forward to yeah, uh, Palazzo I think your family has probably been uh, the biggest gainer of getting into the music industry thanks to uh, a doctor yeah, uh, for him <laughs> to have created that situation right yes, yes. but I imagine if we go to start today and they were able to do that for their family as well, how important does that happen? Because it might start from the family, but it spills over to like yeah. other different worlds and other yeah. families. How important is it that we are looking for a star, in this case, someone that we haven't seen, someone we don't know where they are, but we believe they're already a star? Well, how important it is, is just like Anita said, on her way while she started, People used to judge her. How did she get to that hotel? Who paid the bills? All those questions. So we have, uh, uh, we have. I don't know if it's a culture, whatever it is in Uganda, that all of us starting our journeys. People told us, "You can't do this." No, I remember like radio. The first time you came to the island, yeah. He's always singing. Other mm. people complain. Yeah. 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 You are very lucky that you have people here that are actually inviting you guys to come sing for them mm -hmm. so they can give you an opportunity. You know, that's very beautiful about this whole entire project because now our kids can start gaining the confidence from young. Mm -hmm. This project is reaching out to the to, 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 to the cockroaches, to the rats down deep. Music, starting out as an artist, your only capital is your head. Mm -hmm. You don't have no money, nothing. You just come, I want to be an artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This job has no interviews. You don't do an interview to become an artist. I could be an oh, artist yeah. tomorrow, I could stop, whatever. Mm -hmm. So. This thing is giving actually kids a chance to start now and they're starting in the right hands. If you have Talent Africa on board, you have the Ugandan Tourism Board on board, you, that's Uganda behind you. have people like Navio, you have Cindy behind yeah. you, you yeah. have Anita Fabiola. This is somebody that even came to me and gave me great advice that uh, made me Made, made made a lot of who I am today yeah. and you're getting all this for free. She's giving you a hard time. So. I think it's very important our kids grow with confidence. I think it's very important that for the first time, we normally must go to the government, the tourism, your never day, but they have a go to empower these young talents. Um, mm -hmm. I love this. I can't wait to see where this goes. Same. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the talent Africa. <laughs> yeah, you got the tourism for wherever yes. you want to yeah. yeah. I would love to travel across the whole yeah. nation. Yeah. 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 I'm so happy. We are ready. Yeah. We're we're ready. Uh, right. Now, Fabiola, you've traveled across the country. Yeah. You have a lot of people who actually admire you. But in this case, with the people that we get, we actually want to teach them what you know, right? Because I think it's important that you are part of teaching them as well. If you had 100%. that person who taught you six yeah. years ago, 100%. you'd be way further than 100%. where you are, right? Yeah. Um, are you excited about this? And what yeah. should people expect from your lessons and yeah. what you're going to be able to impact in their lives? Yeah. yeah. 100%. I'm very excited because this is new. Mm -hmm. We are also going to discover, although we're in the industry, but this is a chance for us to discover new sounds, mm -hmm. discover different styles, because we're also getting older, you know? Yeah. So there's those fresh kids out there that <laughs> are up. young, they have a different vibe to them. Literally, so fresh kids are yeah, around. Right, fresh kids. Right. So, <laughs> so, you know, sometimes when you sit in your bubble, you think that's it. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. on the internet and yeah. you say this is what's popping. But mm -hmm. then there's a child somewhere there in in Barara, Coming in Kabale, up. I'll use my village, mm -hmm. in Kabale, who sings differently, he, he has a different presence to him and no one knows about it. True. So it's a chance for even all of us here, the Ministry of Tourism and everyone who is on the internet to discover that, hey, this, this is something new. Right. And entertainment and tourism, 
definitely no dividing line. Nice. You know, so with music, mm -hmm. it's obviously a key pull factor when it comes to the destinations people choose to travel to, at least for me. For most people, you're like, mm, yeah. I won't go there, you know. So this is a very big deal and I'm excited. There Let's you go. Do it. Yeah. If you are not excited, let me tell you what is about to go down. Right now, we have over thousands of auditions that have come through. We are breaking them down to a particular number that you will be showcased to and be given. This will be through our mainstream media as well as this particular channel that you're watching this stream from. And you will be told you can choose who should be in the competition. The competition will actually have the first batch will be 16 contestants. These 16 contestants have been chosen by you. Now, these 16 contestants are broken down in fours, and the fours are in the four different regions of the country. And they'll be traveling in these different districts with what we call music tourism retreats to go to these different areas, destinations, to actually teach them, educate them, and get them ready to have all the knowledge that it takes to be a superstar, a POA star. Now, once we go to each and every single region, unfortunately, we drop one. But that one person has learned a lot because you actually get a chance to even record a song with someone like Navio or someone like Cindy. There's a great package for the retreats. Once we have our top 12 that have come out of the regional retreats, we get into a serious boot camp. Joanne Tekaolia said, this is the one when, this is the time where we're going to see who is going to make it and who is not going to make it. Because there's no Kusoso Ras, Mani, you came from this background. Yeah. Yeah. Your talent. And what crazy, yeah. That's what by I the way, it, like, these people don't even know how lucky they are. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I remember me, uh, the days we started out, I remember seeing Navio, you know, we used to walk on foot from Zambia to deviate from yeah. deviate Wait, to Zambia. Why do I feel like I walked with this Navio. Navio. <laughs> you get there. The Navio. True. You get there. Yeah, they true. don't even let you perform. When you go back home and yeah. then your parents have to beat you up for, yeah. for, 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 for you. I mean, so, so, so yeah. these, these, these yeah. people, are, when we started out, we only had Music Uganda as yeah. the yes. only music website. Yeah. And now there is a variety. So you people should really register because yeah. this is a very your chance. I remember um, Mackenzie, me pleading with Mackenzie, I'm like, please, can I co-host that event with you for free? I <laughs> this is like, how many years ago? Like and I told, her, I told her, you are not going to do it for free. I'm you like, should no, be just paid. You should be paid. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, but she so, just wanted to be on stage. Yes. Yes. And the opportunity. There, there are lots of people who want to be on stage. Yeah. There's a big stage once you're in the top 12. It is a massive big stage. Literally, no loser in this. We're looking for one major person, but everyone in there gets an amazing opportunity. Definitely. The pile of Africa Star Search is going to be a televised TV series and this TV show of a reality TV show is going to have 10 episodes so in the top 12 you are highlighted as much as possible and on top of this there are elimination shows that you have to actually go through using tourism using music and of course using a lot more to do with brand and uh, knowledge of social media and knowing how to become a star and represent your country but most importantly representing self because self it will be the extension of everything to become your pal of Africa. Now, of course, we have a grand finale that I'll give you detail on as we keep going on with these virtual workshops. But this grand finale is where we get this one person that gets a contract worth 60 million shillings. In the 60 million shillings, there's a cash prize, there's recording contract, there's on top of that talent management, there will be music videos, collaborations, travel, and a lot more. This, my friend, if I had a voice... I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> I'm telling, 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 telling you. guys of Talent Africa, you know what, let me quit this job today. <laughs> I'm enjoying the competition. Enjoying. When I'm done, I'll show you love. Me and Palazzo uh, submitted already. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Palazzo submitted. So if you're watching this, you have just only one and a half days to submit. So please drop in your submission. It's very easy to do this. Just simply go to www.posstar.com or run to our social media pages and you'll find a number that you can send through WhatsApp or give a phone call. Now, don't forget, we are heavily supported by the Ministry of Tourism and we'd love you to have a final word on this particular uh, world of the Pearl of Africa Star Search and what you want the world, especially Ugandans, to know that is coming up. I think it's beautifully said. Um, 
from the panelists, we've got uh, the different vibe and variety or angles yes. uh, that, that, that we need to understand in terms of talent development, discovery, and the opportunities that you're likely to achieve uh, if you participate uh, in, in this. From a tourism point of view, we're looking at destination visibility. Mm -hmm. You know, we are going to, to get to know her place yes. very well, mm. very, very well. It's, it's called what? Kambuga. Eh? Kambuga, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the original vibe coming from Kambuga. Okay. It's, it's right. probably a place not very many people no. are, are very familiar with. But Kambuga. this is an opportunity that is in going to take hills. us all over, <laughs> yeah. all over the country. You don't know Kambuga. And in a way, <laughs> <laughs> and in a way, market the whole country. Yeah. It's also an opportunity for everyone to, it's inclusive, you know, mm. it's free to enter. Yeah. Yeah. It's free to enter, it's yeah. free to try out. Mm. So, and we, we're really calling upon everybody who feels you have the talent, you have the passion, come, it's free. There you go. Yet all the opportunities ages. are endless. Mm -hmm. yes. We have amazing partners, and I'm going to try and mention all of them, but my friend, people yeah, have decided to join us and support yeah. us heavily. Yeah. We have MTN, we actually have Coca-Cola that has uh, yeah. kindly given us some very nice refreshments this oh, mid-morning. Yeah. And on top of that, we also have, of course, Radiant that is going to be working on all the girls that are there, the guys that are there, just to make them look nice and all that. We also have Uganda Talent Managers Association. This is the literally the association of talent management in Uganda. I'm very proud to be a part of that. Uganda Musicians Association is a part of this as well. We do not only have that, we have Tag Studios and of course, not forgetting House of DJs. Talent Africa is head overall in this, but obviously Uganda Wildlife Education Center is part of this. We have Uganda Tourism Board that is part of this and of course, Uganda Wildlife Authority. Uganda Wildlife Authority and the Ministry of Tourism. Guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. Palaso, I have always wanted to interview. I'm glad that we have had this conversation because <laughs> you are in the best time of your career. Right. Congratulations you. for all that you have Thank achieved, bro. Right it's, oh, getting yes. big. It's, it's, it's getting big. He's getting big. He's getting bigger, bro. The best is yet to come. Artist still there, and male artist is still there, bro. That is uh, that's quite huge. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I don't think anyone has the numbers that Fabiola has right now. If you are not following yeah, her, you are among the few people that are not following right now. <laughs> you yeah? job if you're not following her, you go in the wrong direction. <laughs> And of course, Davio, our great yeah. legend, uh, so living legend. Caption, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah, Davio, thank you so much for being a part of this. Yes. Uh, he will be a judge, so he's going to be part of this entire process till the final end of this as we get a star. And Mr. Liazi, thank you so much. Greetings to the Ministry of Tourism. You're welcome. It is Talent Africa Group. My name is Killer McKenzie. I am so happy that uh, we have had this conversation. I feel we need more of these virtual uh, workshops and they will be happening. So don't think this is the first and the last. We have a lot more guests that will be coming and joining us. Otherwise, thanks to Talent Africa for hosting this and of course the entire team that is behind. Peace out, take care, and of course, don't do what God wouldn't do. You could be a star.